I didn't even realize what had happened. And I would, next thing I knew, I was laying on the, the main deck there. And I was in a pile of paint itself. I didn't realize what had happened to myself. It was probably too quick for my body to sense what had happened. And I, all I seen was blood, and I was run, wondering where it had come from. And it was just running and mixing it in with the haze gray paint that I was laying on the deck in. And I looked up and all I seen was the forward gun mount, blood running down the bulkhead there. And everybody running in hysteria all over the place. I was trying to understand what was happening and then I realized that there were jets flying over. We had just secured from General Quarters just shortly before that, and we had had the planes flying around us for a good time. I don't know exactly how long, but they were flying over our heads. I was on the starboard side of the ship as a lookout up on the bridge. Just before that, I had gone below, and the next thing I realized, I was laying down there. I had tried to crawl along the deck a little bit. I called for help, but everybody was running in like mad hysteria all over the place. I reached up and I asked somebody, please help me. I don't even remember who it was at the time, but they made a beeline for the door, one of the doors and down below. I can't blame anybody because the, it was flying all over the place. And uh, I was just kind of in and out of consciousness. I was looking at everybody. They looked like skeletons to myself as they were running around. As I did try to crawl, I got wounded back through my leg again, went right through my back of my leg and out the front. I haven't had any contact with my shipmates since this has happened. As a matter of fact, right after it first happened, they kept guards on my door and they wouldn't let me speak to nobody and I couldn't understand why. Then they kind of scattered every, everybody that was remaining on the ship when they first came back to port, I guess, the United States. They scattered everybody all over the world so they couldn't talk to each other or kind of communicate with each other and put everything together. Like we're doing now. Yeah. Like we've tried to do for 20 years. I'm glad this is all happening right now. I probably won't be. We'll be telling your story. I probably won't get a chance to see anybody again. We'll, we'll <laughs> but I've really you. enjoyed this. I got a lot of feelings out. I've been holding up inside for many years. My recovery period was very long. You spent something over eight years in the hospital, as I recall. Well, from the day I went into the hospital to the first day I got out of the hospital, Permanently, after I was wounded, it was over two years. At first, I didn't really, didn't have no really desire to live. I guess I was feeling more sorry for myself than anything, but I've grown out of that. I did spend an extensive amount of times in the hospital. I have seizure disorder from shrap metal that was lodged in my brain, that's still in my brain. I try not to think about that far too much. No, we understand it's, that. And I realize it's painful to talk about this, and you don't have to talk if you don't want to, but if you can give us... I laid... Every time I've gone back to the hospital, I hate the hospital so bad now. Since this happened, I've been in the hospital for eight years. So I, right. But I'm really thankful to be here and to see all my shipmates again. I haven't had such great news the last few times I've been in the hospital. piece of shrapnel that's lodged in my brain through the years it's grown up. It's to protect the brain I, from itself, it's grown cartilage around the shrapnel piece itself. And now it's getting worse and worse.
that I'm supposed to be getting an operation on it and have it removed and I'll be paralyzed for the rest of my life if this is what happens to me and if I don't get it out by September I'm supposed the doctor said it's going to cost me it would rupture one of the vessels in my brain called he said it would be an aneurysm he, he tried to explain it to me and I've been kind of scared since then I don't really know what I want to do But I told him, just please let me out of the hospital. I don't want to be in there anymore.